I think the way to think of it is that inflammation is at the base of all chronic diseases that occur throughout the world, more so in countries where there is more obesity and diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And what, for, for those that don't know, I think we all have an intuition for what inflammation is, uh, but physiologically at the cellular level, what exactly is inflammation? It, uh, inflammation is a condition of the cell and eventually the organ that the cells make up that particular organ it are characterized by higher levels or higher amounts in the cell or the liver or the heart muscle of what we call substances that are called cytokines. And they are very much related, the production of cytokines, to the amount of the vegetable oils that we have in our diet, particularly the omega-6 essential fatty acids. And the ratio of the omega-6 essential fatty acids to the omega-3s. And what Western diets are characterized by are high amounts of sunflower oil, safflower, corn oil, cottonseed oil, and soybean oil. These fatty acids are called uh, the amount of omega-6 fatty acids in those oils is extremely high. For example, in the case of sunflower, which is very commonly used oil, is uh, 77% are omega-6. But the high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids that are in our diet, in the body, in the cell, are metabolized to substances that are pro-inflammatory. By that we mean they increase the production of inflammatory substances that, I, as I mentioned earlier, are called cytokines. But after the Second World War, there has been an enormous production of the oils that are high in omega-6. And so the Western diets are characterized by high amounts of pro-inflammatory metabolites or pro-inflammatory substances that are the result of the metabolism of the omega-6 in the cell. 